Hello, I am back from my trip and I'm already getting back into things as quickly as I can. These two pieces just got accepted for a show. I entered that one also, but that one is staying here. That's not accepted. We are on a mission to go get hanging wire and D-rings, I think, for the back of both the paintings. I will also probably stock up on some groceries and other stuff. I kind of feel weird trying to get back into routine. But we'll do it. Fall fits and dark jeans have entered the chat. Also, this little guy that Yvonne gave me. How cute is that? Into the rain we go. Found this kit, but it only has screw eyes. So I think I'll get D-rings and the wires separate. This should be good. And I don't think I have time to do frames because I have to drop them off in two days, but I will clean up the edges, take some white paint to smooth out that line. I trust my freehanding more than I do tape. So I will just wing it. Edges are done and looking good. At least I think that that's fine and presentable for the moment. Now I just need to attach the hanging wire and we're good to go. Ooh, I feel like I'm painting. Kind of a random project, but I need to polish these. Oh yeah, the difference that makes is beautiful. Much better. Look at that wire. I think it's perfect. It is currently raining, so I need these covered. Well, I dropped them off, basically. I don't know why I thought this would be wide enough. Oops. I guess I'll cover this one. I'll take this downstairs and look for a bigger garbage bag, I guess. I Frankensteined some kind of bag around it, so this will be a good temporary solution just to get in and out of the buildings and then I'll take it off. Don't know why, but my hands are kind of shaking from just dropping off those pieces, but now I can move on to other stuff to do. Feels good to have my work shown. The person in charge of the gallery mentioned she thinks my work should be shown more often, but I kind of explained it. I'm still developing my pace of work and I don't want to get overwhelmed. It was a nice compliment. I got myself a little reward. <sighs> this is dirty. Over. I'm embarrassed by how much I love this piece. My heart breaks that this won't be in the show, but maybe I'll find somewhere else to show it. This is kind of like an awkward setup, but whatever. Now I just need to make sure I don't ever bump that shelf. Okay, it's fine for now. <laughs> I still have this massive pile here. I moved some blank canvases over there and now this looks a little bit better. I accidentally found an exhibition I want to apply to and the deadline for it is the end of today. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to submit this piece that didn't get accepted to the last one. I'm just paying the fee and filling out the form now. If you're curious, it is $55 to enter.
photoshopping my next reference image. Basically, I just have to straighten things out. I was feeling very tempted over the last week to just dive right back into my list of to-dos and already felt worn out and anxious about everything within a few days. Going into the weekend and visiting home for a little bit was a nice opportunity to remind me that focusing on why I create is much more important. My inspirations and things that I care about are so useful, more so than just getting things done. The rest of the work and decisions seemed to follow naturally after that shift. So as I was sitting at my desk, unsure of what to tick off the list next, while unsatisfied with my lack of progress, I decided to change my expectations and find what was the simplest and most enjoyable step forward, which just happened to be a small value sketch. My productivity almost always comes from setting the barrier to entry for my practice lower. Considering the hardware store runs, the printing, preparation, and odd activities as a part of the actual artwork. It is raining, but I'm trying to get back into being productive, which has been difficult so far. So yesterday, you saw me stretching this watercolor paper by misting it. Then I taped it down, added some books after it was mostly dry, helped with flattening it. And it looks pretty good. I did this value study also. This is just a sketch. It's not proportionate. <laughs> For this though, I think I will do kind of like a drafting underneath so everything's proportionate. And then maybe watercolor, maybe some colored pencil on top. I think that's it, but we'll see. I have it taped down to a drawing board now. I'll outline my square and maybe a grid for the piece and then I can set it up on the easel comfortably. It. It's as fragile, like me. I don't think a month goes by where I'm not buying something. Let's go open my new panel for painting on. I go back and forth between buying my canvases and panels and making them. Actually, I don't make my canvases ever. I do make my panels sometimes. This time I wanted to buy one because it's a bigger piece. I'm feeling slightly lazy lately. And just to test out if it's worth it. I like that there's a lot of packaging. It doesn't feel like this could easily get damaged. Ooh! Oh, she's thick. I guess I forgot that I think two and a half inches profile. That's big, but it looks really nice. I can already tell I like it. Why am I afraid to open it? I got one corner off and this side is dented and on the side the painting will be on, which it's so minor, but a little annoying. It just puffs up the panel. And then some of the back corners look like this. Otherwise, the surface is great. It's framed well. Next, it needs to be prepped. So I'm working on fixing this corner. I wanna sand down the bump a little and then just add some putty. I'm probably not supposed to get this on the carpet. Whatever. Sometimes you gotta do stuff when the boyfriend's not here. He's gonna be like, who is all the wood buddy? Let's wait a minute and then sand and then check out. I'm so happy I finished that and my corner is looking way better. So I guess now I can gesso it. I'm not gonna be able to get it to like a fine point with the wood putty, so it's good enough. Mm. 
Yvonne is driving. He's going to get out and go to work while I take the truck to Russo, pick up some parts for him. Okay, time to pick up this from in there. Well, someone offered to carry it for me, which was even better. I did it. Now that that's home, I guess I can make coffee, eat breakfast, get to work. I think it's like eight something. Yay! I do this with all my pieces, taking care of every step because I've learned that when you make a painting, you're making a product, not just an image. Which means that I need to consider if it will last, if it's durable, if it looks good from all angles, and I recommend that. I think I'll do just one more coat of gesso around the edges. So I could be starting the actual painting of this image. I think that would make a lot of sense, but I tend to always do sketches beforehand. This time my pre-painting sketch is maybe getting a little carried away. It is larger than usual, but serves a purpose. Doing this first allows me to spend some time with the problems that I will inevitably come across while painting, such as how am I going to render this material, what pattern can this be turned into, and also what colors I'm seeing in different areas. And the more time I spend with those questions, the less that I have to figure out on the spot while painting. For example, this roof is not my favorite part, but I want to find what's interesting about it, like this pattern in the shingles, and find a way to represent it. I did a little more on the drawing, and I think it's at a point where I'm going to leave it be for a while so that I can get started on underdrawing for the actual piece, and then before I do any real painting, I'll come back, work on this more. But just in doing the drawing for this, I figured out things that I can use for the actual piece, so that's super helpful. One more thing, this got accepted into that second exhibit I found that will also get hanging wire and I think I'm delivering it in a week, next weekend. All good stuff. I'm not feeling organized, but things are moving. That's probably the best way to go into the fall. So baby steps, I don't need to feel put together to just keep progressing, I guess. Time to go see my pieces. I'm excited. What the heck, it looks great. Ta-da!